Well, good morning. This morning, our scriptures, Revelations 1 and 7, and it goes like this. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. This morning, I was uh, reminiscing in my mind about the Double R Ranch that we once owned up there in Missouri, and uh, how we would uh, uh, go and buy a load or two of, of cattle to bring them in, and and uh, we'd put them in our our pen, our receiving pen, and and uh, get a good look at them, see what they needed and what they didn't need. We'd run them through that squeeze chute. And there we would uh, remove all the tags of the previous owners that we could. And, you know, we would vaccinate them and deworm them and che just check them over real good. Check their teeth and make sure that uh, they was ready to go out into to our pasture. And... Uh, then we'd uh, heat up the old branding iron and we'd uh, put that double R on the right hip just to identify them from our neighbor's cattle. And you know, I was reading in the Bible and, and the Lord's return's coming. He's a coming. Uh, you know, I heard one preacher the other day, he said that uh, all the prophecies in the Bible have been fulfilled except for his return. So, folks, we're living right here in the end times. And, uh, you know, the old world is real dark as it is. And there's wars and rumors of wars going on. And I don't tell you this to scare you. It's just fact. That's what the TV's telling you. But if you're not ready for the Lord's return, you best get ready. You best get ready. Because when he comes, there ain't no repenting then. It's too late. It's going to be too late. You see, they, uh, the Bible tells us he's coming in on that great white horse for the big roundup. And uh, I'm looking forward to that day. Because then I get to be going up to heaven, spend eternity with nothing but peace, joy, and love. And I get to spend it with my family that's already over there. And my friends that's already there. What a wonderful time that's going to be up in heaven. But my question is, are you ready for the Lord's return? Do you carry his mark? I hope you do. I hope you do. I hope your garments are clean. Because when he comes, it'll be too late to ask, ask for forgiveness. It'll be too late to say, Lord, come into my heart. We need to be ready. Just because this big roundup's going to happen. Uh, just any time. I hope you'll examine yourself. If you're not ready, ask the Lord to come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loved you. He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.